My name is Kelvin Do, aka DJ Focus. All right, all right. It's the youngest DJ, DJ Man Focus. I'm from Sierra Leone. And I love inventing. Kelvin is extraordinarily talented. He literally goes to trash cans, finds broken electronic parts in the garbage and makes stuff on his own. He's taught himself how to do incredibly intricate things with very, very little resources. In Sierra Leone, we have not too much electricity. I like to come um, once in a week and uh, the rest of the month dark. So I made my own battery to power lights in people's houses. Calvin represents learn by making. <laughs> he takes a part, looks at it, tries to reverse engineer it. I made my own FM radio transmitter. He made his own FM station because he wanted to give voice to the youth. He made his own generator because he needed it. The generator supply current to the radio station. This is the capacitor and this is the spark plug. This trip this is his first time leaving his family's home. This is his first time leaving Sierra Leone. And it's tough, but it's an opportunity to create the future that he wants to live in. My name is David Moyne Nasenge, I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm a PhD student at the MIT Media Lab where we have unlimited creative freedom. I wanted to ensure that young people like Kelvin also had this experience. David has written visa letters, found places for Kelvin to stay. He's really got invested in him. For quite many years, Sierra Leone and many other African countries receive aid. But it does not necessarily get us anywhere. We are not looking into the future. We are not designing our own future. Unless we have a host of young people who can think at any given point that here's a challenge, that here's a problem, but it's an opportunity to solve it, there won't be a steep growth in, uh, in national development. If we have a radio station in my community, the people can be able to debate about issues affecting our community and Sierra Leone as a whole. I first met Kelvin at the Summer Innovation Camp that I run in Sierra Leone that challenges kids to think about the toughest problems in their community and have them solve it. Kelvin's team applied to build an FM radio station for community empowerment. And people listen religiously to his radio station. People text into his show and he reads the text from people. It's very inspirational. I'm DJ Focus, a right broadcasting all the way near I'm a Boston. People normally call me DJ Focus in my community because I believe if you focus, you can do invention um, perfectly. I DJ every day. For sure, for the meantime, don't forget DJ Man Focus passing through. Soundtrack done by Bobby. I want to see a union artist. Your satisfaction is absolutely guaranteed for your ultimate priority. <laughs> So Kelvin has been in the United States for the past two weeks. I lined up a pretty busy um, schedule for him. First we went to New York, the next day we were in Cambridge. Next week we have a talk with the president of Harvard University. It's a big opportunity for me to learn from people who have experience and to meet with them. How do you want the antenna? Like this. Like that? Yeah. All right. Kelvin had these RF transmitters that he had made, and we spent yesterday kind of trying to figure out how we might be able to make some improvements. All right, hopefully that's big enough. Have you ever used a drill like that before? No. <laughs> you be careful with it. Yeah. Um, we'll use this as the power cable. Okay. This was a microphone wire converted to a power output. I got the, the cable from 
There does be. <laughs> Let's give it some audio. Cool. We kind of get trapped in our own little worlds. And just as Calvin's getting his world expanded by coming here, so am I getting my world expanded by interacting with him. Good work with you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he loves to work hard, but he's a kid. He's 15. After a while, he also just want to play ping pong. He also just want to play football. Oh, come on. I talked to him, I said, look, Kelvin, think of me as your older brother. <laughs> All right, I'm tired. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's tough to you. It's his first time leaving Sierra Leone. So it's, it's overwhelming. It's just that I miss Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, if you meet somebody head to head, you have to say hi. You acknowledge them and smile. Here, yeah. when he gets on the train, he says hi to people. Nobody recognizes it. And also, I do love the food in America. We're here to eat some Sierra Leonean food. Kelvin loves, so it's gonna be awesome. What are you gonna get, Kelvin? Cassava leaves. Cassava leaves. Let's see if they have some. Come. How are you, Auntie? No, but I have been to Oh. <laughs> I have been okra, cassava leaves. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. You want to try me planting? Take. He misses home a lot. I miss um, my family so much, especially my mother. Hello? Yeah? It's fine. How are you? My mother, she was so excited because um, people send good comments about me. Mama. Hello. I want to help my family to provide um, the facility for them. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Didi. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, my family. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. For Kelvin, his biggest challenge is going to be the scarcity of the materials and the information once he goes back. Here, he can go in and pick up a resistor or whatever he wants. He now understands that there are many people who don't have to go to the garbage, so he has to Go back. Whatever thing I, I've, I've learned, yeah, I will share it with my friends, colleagues, loved ones, and do it as a team. He's done an amazing work, but that's just the beginning. My next invention will be a windmill for the people to use for electricity and supply. I want there to be many more Kelvins. I do not want it to be a one-off thing. It's a movement. It's how do we create thousands of young people who are inspired by making stuff and solving the problems that are in their neighborhood. That is my aim, to promote innovation in Sierra Leone among young people. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is David. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. The folks at Think and I wanted to share Kelvin's story in the hopes of starting the conversation about how we can all foster innovation amongst young people around the world. We're asking you to do two things. First, submit comments and response videos below telling us how you think we can promote innovation amongst young people in your community. Second, if you're inspired by what you just saw, support the nonprofit organization I founded by visiting crowdrise.com slash innovate salon. Your donations will go directly to more innovation competitions that support other young innovators like Kelvin. And if you want to see more inspiring videos like this one, subscribe for free to Thinker by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks very much. I'm DJ Focus and you are watching Proud Disease.